Hi friends, this is Fire on Pop, and this is another in my series of Armed Citizen Stories. And this one's coming right out of First Freedom Magazine, that's an NRA publication, and these are called Armed Citizen Stories. Now you may see the first one X'd out there, that's because uh, we've, we've uh, uh, read that story before. Uh, so, we're just going to admit it this time. So anyway, let's get right to the stories. Uh, Raymond Hiles, 25, was arrested after being treated for a gunshot wound to the neck. He was shot after breaking into a home of Fred Rakuti, an 84-year-old Korean War veteran. Rakuti had been asleep with his wife, who was ill at the time, and heard a noise at about 4.30 a.m. He then saw someone come into his room. Rakuti quickly drew a gun from a nearby drawer and shot it and shouted a warning at Hills before firing once. And this was in Elizabeth, Pennsylvania. After dropping off her teenage grandson, a 57-year-old Lulu Campbell was sitting in her vehicle searching for a cell phone when two men approached with guns. Bretton Spencer, 32, and Dante Shivers, 30, shouted at Campbell to open the door and give them her money. As Campbell reached for her 38 caliber revolver, she reclined the car seat in an effort to take cover as both men began to shoot at, at her. Campbell returned fire, striking Spencer in the chest and causing Shivers to flee the scene. Campbell was uninjured, and that was in Macon, Georgia. Three men entered a Cigars International store one evening and attempted to purchase tobacco products. Store manager, 37-year-old Matthew Bruza, uh, asked to see identification. Bruza explained to them that it was against the law to sell tobacco products without seeing proper identification. One customer became irate and went as far as to angrily knock over a large sign outside of the store. When Bruza confronted the man, causing havoc outside, one of them produced a knife and held it at Bruza's throat. Bruza quickly responded by pulling out his legally concealed 40 caliber handgun. All three men fled on foot. Bruce said, I have never been in a situation like that. Basically, my instincts kicked in. And that was in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> Just before noon, a 37-year-old man entered uh, Carrillo's jewelry store, hopped over the counter, and approached the office at the back of the store. The store owner, his wife, and four-year-old daughter were in the store at the time of the incident. When the armed suspect appeared in the office doorway, the owner grabbed the handgun and fired at the aggressor. Although medics attempted to revive the suspect, his wounds proved fatal. And that was in uh, Valjo, California. Uh, Valjo, California, depending how you pronounce that. Anyway, <clears throat> sometime before 5 a.m., Jesse Homa, 24, began to bang on the door of a resident and yell for a woman. The homeowner, who was not acquainted with Homer, explained that he, he lived alone and asked Homer to leave. After damaging vehicles outside of the residence, the assailant turned his attention to the side door of the home. He kicked in the door and entered only to meet the, the homeowner's 22 caliber handgun. Homer was shot several times in the leg before fleeing the scene. He was later arrested and charged with first degree home invasion after being released from the hospital. And that happened in Marquette, Michigan. Uh, there you go, 22 caliber. Uh, and not really well placed shots either in the leg. Uh, caused the man to flee, go seek me medical attention, and therefore get caught. Two men forced their way into a home early one afternoon and began to assault the resident. During the scuffle, the resident managed to pull a handgun from his pocket and fire it multiple times. Both men fled the scene on foot. The body of Jacob Clark was found a short distance from the residence. He had suffered a single gunshot to the chest. The second alleged intruder, Joe Pug, 18, was not injured. He was caught soon after the incident, arrested and charged with aggravated burglary. And that was in Crossville, Tennessee. When a 14-year-old uh, Brady, last name was withheld because uh, he's 14, went to the kitchen for a glass of water late one night, he heard voices. Brady said, I walked to the edge of the stairs and I heard them talking. I didn't recognize their voices and I went back to my room and got my 12 gauge shotgun. I loaded it. The boy confronted the men. The intruders had their own firearms pointed at Brady, but fled upon seeing the shotgun pointed back at them. 
Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, yep, uh, shotgun pointed at you uh, will make you retreat. Anyway, that was a great story. Kudos to the 14-year-old boy, and uh, and uh, and great that uh, his parents uh, taught him well and how to protect the home. Once again, this is Fire on Pop. Be safe out there, and God bless. Bye now.